Welcome back to the uh, third hour of our program. On the line with us is our old buddy Alex Lawson, the Executive Director of Social Security Works, socialsecurityworks.org, strengthensocialsecurity.org, uh, ALAW202 on Twitter, or SSWorks. Uh, Alex has also filled in for me on this program on many occasions in the past, uh, may well again in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Alex, you, you uh, confronted Jody Arrington, the Republican budget chair, about his plans for a cat food commission, and it has gone completely viral uh, on Twitter and in other venues. Tell us about this. Well, he's so mad at me, Tom. I think that's what um, really catches the eye right away. Uh, he's yelling at me. Ryan Grimm tweeted it out, um, and you know he was joking that he hadn't really seen uh, members of Congress chasing the activists before, which it totally looked like he was. And a lot of people were wondering why. And it's because it's exactly what he is trying to do is what I was saying. I was just asking him, why are you trying to cut our Social Security benefits? Why are you reaching your hand uh, into our pocket to cut our benefits with a commission, which is literally what he had been doing right before was he was chairing a hearing about the need to set up a commission to cut Social Security and Medicare. And he was super angry at me that I had the audacity to point that out. Jeez, these Republicans. I mean, you know, it's just incredible that they think that they think that nobody's noticing. I, I mean, it's, it's just it's just mind boggling. So tell me about the the commission that uh, Jody Arrington and other Republicans in the House and Senate are talking about putting together. It's simple. It really is. You know, you call it the cat food commission. And I, that's, uh, it, you know, uh, it, it is uh, a sad joke uh, because it's true. That's what, you know, it was called back when it was the BS commission. And the reason is it's a commission with only one purpose to cut Social Security and Medicare. It's a commission set up as a Social Security death panel. That's the only thing that they're talking about. And they're pretty open about it. You can uh, watch Jody Arrington open the hearing saying things like, you know, we're uh, it's all about Social Security and Medicare. Um, so that's what the commission is. And I think it's important that people understand that, that it's nothing more than that. There's no fanciness to it or anything. But it's just as important, Tom, that, you know, I think uh, you know better than me, but I think there's nine uh, candidates still uh, in right. for the next speech. All of them support a commission, right? Really? So they did. It doesn't matter if you're on the MAGA wing or the establishment wing or whatever it is. The thing they agree on is setting up this commission. The things that they have voted for all together, uh, and we just tweeted this out, Tom, just to show people, it's all yeses. Every single one of them has voted for uh, creating or supports creating a commission uh, to cut Social Security. So there's no daylight between them on this. Wow. I call it a cat food commission because basically, you know, if they cut Social Security enough, older people are going to have to start eating cat food because they can't afford human food. Um, it, it's, it seems like these guys are absolutely committed to this. I mean, the Republican Party has been committed to destroying Social Security ever since 1935 when it was first rolled out. Um, you know, arguably back in 1983, when Reagan put together a commission with Alan Greenspan and Daniel Patrick Moynihan, um, you know, there was a coming problem, and that was the boomers retiring. And everybody acknowledged it, you know, that there was going to be about a 20, 25 year period where Social Security would be spending a whole lot more than it was bringing in. And thus, they almost doubled the Social Security tax so that the boomers are basically the only generation that not only paid for the retirement of their parents in real time, but also saved up to pay for their own retirement. Uh, this is why Social Security is sitting on almost $3 trillion. Um, uh, what, do, how, do you think that there's any possibility that these guys are going to have any success? I mean, Back, you know, they, they almost got Obama. Obama was coming out saying, oh, yeah, let's uh, do the change CPI, which was a way of cutting Social Security benefits over time. Um, he, he, uh, Bernie led the charge against that, and Obama backed down. Um, it seems like Joe Biden has pretty much abandoned the Democratic neoliberal positions. Um, do you see any possibility that another cat food commission is going get, to get it put into law? Uh, I mean, always. There's always a day, you know, Tom. Uh, and, you know, just the reason I said sad uh, label is because the reason that you're saying that, Tom, is because it's true. That's from stories of 
when Social Security benefits uh, didn't, you know, meet people's needs, that there was seniors eating cat food uh, yep. because th- I mean, that that's just a true story. So like calling it that uh, is is accurately predicting what what they're talking about, what would happen. Um, and yes, there is the so we have to beat it in the House. But really, I do think a huge problem is going to be in the Senate because, you know, where the commissions and everything sort of make their entry into the political discussion. It's like some pompous person um, will walk in and be like, I have a reasonable we'll just have a commission and both sides will lose some. And right. Like and they'll, right. it'll be treated as if they're the smartest person in the room even though their idea is the dumbest idea in the room. It's like catnip for the Beltway press. They can't stop wanting to cut Social Security and Medicare. So when, uh, you know, like uh, if government funding, if the speaker resolves and then government funding happens, they're going to send something to the, the House will send something to the Senate. And sort of the biggest danger, I think, is that the Senate takes out a lot of the right wing stuff, but leaves a commission in. Uh, right. And that's why we have to protect against it even being sent over from the House and uh, just in general, make it as politically toxic as possible. And that's why Jody Arrington was so mad at me uh, for, you know, not uh, pretending that it's not exactly what they're doing every day is plotting to get this closed door commission to rob us. We're talking with Alex Lawson, the executive director of SocialSecurityWorks.org, about the uh, Social Security death panels um, here. Uh, is, uh, have you heard anything from Chuck Schumer about this? I mean, you know, the Democrats still control the Senate. Yeah, I think that um, we're doing decently well in the Senate, uh, but you do have, you can look at some, um, you know, pre- sort of previous stories that I know um, where you had like Angus King and Tim Kaine talking about the King Cassidy proposal, which we talked about, Tom, and again, is nothing more than a trick where, you know, the Republicans try to dress up their more than 20 percent cut uh, before the action forcing event uh, in 2033, which is when that pre-funding of the baby boomers retirement, the trust fund would go down and then uh, benefits would just match revenue, right? And so we all agree that in a decade that benefits going down by 20% is a huge problem. And that's why I asked Jody Arrington, would you raise taxes on the wealthy to prevent that benefit cut on your constituents? And he would not reply, Tom. He was terrified of that question because we know what the answer is. He will never raise taxes on the wealthy, even though that's the obvious solution to the problem. He just wants to create the problem sooner. And it's not even really raising taxes on them. It's it's bringing their tax rate to be identical to that of the average American worker. Absolutely. Uh, The vast majority of Americans pay in on all of their income. It's just that's the way of life for the vast majority of the American people. But billionaires pay in on a tiny, a minuscule fraction Uh, of their income. And all we have to do is have millionaires and uh, billionaires and the ultra rich pay their fair share, which I mean, pay into Social Security on all of their income, just like the rest of us do. Uh, And we can expand benefits. We can ensure Social Security has, you know, another uh, uh, has more than a a century uh, of solvency ahead of it. So, I mean, the solution is simple and what we're fighting over is simple. The Republicans know that they need to try to get something done in the dead of night as quickly as possible now uh, to make it all happen on the benefit side. While we're not paying attention, they're going to stick their hands in our pockets and rob us. As we get closer to 2033, it's going to be clearer and clearer that we need to raise taxes on the ultra wealthy to prevent a benefit cut to Social Security. It's wildly popular. Uh, Instead of calling it raising taxes, let's call it equalizing taxes. Equalizing. Let's do that. That's what it is. Why, why use their rhetoric, you know? Totally. Uh, so I will say that that is uh, also, I think, how 
you're you're always looking at right around 10 percent uh is the is the people who don't support doing this you're at 90 percent of americans republicans independents democrats uh who all say the path that i would choose if i were given the choice to uh equalize taxes on the ultra wealthy versus cutting benefits they all uh, would equalize taxes. And the question, they'll even say, we'll raise taxes on people. Um, they just don't want their benefit cuts. Yeah, uh, People understand that deeply. I totally get it. I totally get it. Alex Lawson, great information. Alex, thanks so much for dropping by today. Thanks, Tom. And for the great work you're doing there at socialsecurityworks.org. It really is. You're, do you're doing God's work.